Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, first things first, you'll have to excuse me if this voiceover is a mess because I am out of practice. Um, today we're going to be doing this Be Kind set using some of my favourite uh, salon techniques, things I use uh, a lot in the salon, such as Bloom and Gel, Foil Gel, etc, etc. So, first things first, I'm going to go in with a one coat of Kahlua Black, this polish over a clear tip. Oh my coverage 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 in the lamp for 30 seconds and then i'm going to matte top coat it with the kalua matte top coat a really nice velvety top coat and i'm sticking it back in the lamp <laughs> okay using a dotting tool and the urban graffiti foil gel uh i don't know what i showed you there but i'm going to pop a little bit out on a backing paper from a form and i'm going to pick bits up using my dotting tool and i'm going to literally drag them up like that just to give the um effect of some honey drips so a couple of drips there fill in the gaps and any second now i'm going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds clean my tool off right using this lovely gold foil God knows where I found that from, but I'm just going to rub that all the way and really burnish it in and wipe it off, fill in any bits. Um, I couldn't quite see what I was doing with the full gel, so I left a couple of little gaps, but I wasn't too worried about those. And then using my dotting tool again and some gelic top coat, I'm going to just go over those drips so that the black bits remain matte and the foil is top coated and sealed in so it's not going to peel off. And then I'll pop that back in the lamp. And that is that nail finished. On to the next. So I'm going to paint this next tip black and cure it. And then once it's cured, I'm going to give it a nice layer of base coat. This is to help stick these glitter pieces in because they're chunky than what we would normally use with a gel polish. So I'm just picking up the pieces I like. Um, they're a hexagonal, hexagonal, hexagon. We'll go with hexagon. They're a hexagon shape. So I'm trying to give like a bit of a honeycomb feel with them. Um, just place them on in a bit of a honeycomb swoosh, we'll call it. And just sinking them right into that layer of uh, wet base coat. And when I'm happy, I'll pop that back in the lamp. Once it's been in the lamp, I'm going to give it another coat of base, it's base coat on top. Uh, and I'll top coat over a cured layer of base coat. This is just to make sure that the nail is nice and flat and smooth. And that none of those pieces are going to get caught. Okay, in this nail, we're going to be doing a blooming gel nail using uh, Stormy, Stone, Black, White and Mustard from Kahlua. And I'm just going to use the backing paper from a form and I'm just going to blob all the colours together. No real pattern, no real rhyme or reason. Um, I'm using quite a bit because I'm going to do this on at least four nails. So if you sat there thinking, oh, that's quite wasteful, it's really not. Um, I did use the whole thing across the set. Uh, so when I'm happy with all the blobs of colours, I will use that dotting tool any second now to give it a little squiggle. I love how this comes out. I could just look at it forever. Love, 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 love it. So on my tip, I'm going to use the Urban Graffiti Blooming Gel and I'm going to use my Gelish uh, Gel Flat Brush. I love this brush for this technique. It is really, really good. I will try and link it in the description if I remember. So I'm going to use a, an even covering of Bloomin' Gel on that tip and I'm just going to wiggle the product on like so. I've done a video dedicated to this technique before, so you've probably seen it and probably already know that it is one of my diehard favourite things to do. Fill that nail, disperse any solid colours that I don't like. And then just let the blooming gel do its thing, really. Now that that's been cured, I'm going to top coat it. Out of shot, obviously, again. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, Sammy. There we go. Top coat and back into the lamp. Clean my brush off, ready to go again. Love that marble, love these colours together as well. Really, really like it. That's that nail finished. A 
Right, there we go. I've got a coat of Stormy, I believe that was. And um, we're going to do the same thing again, but slightly different. So I'm going to give my tip a nice out of shot covering of Blooming Gel. Or do I, oh, no, in shot. Way, look at that. Okay, so nice even cover. And I'm going to do the same again, but I'm going to work from the tip down. I'm just going to lay some bits down that I like. Out of shot, obviously, yet again. Someone needs to give me some YouTube lessons, seriously. Now I'm just watching, watching that blooming gel do its thing, letting it take the product, and I'll cure it when I'm happy with how it looks. And a top coating. I love the gelic top coat. It's such a silky smooth. Takes a batter in, shiny top coat. It's lovely. Okay, for this final nail, I'm gonna do two coats of Kalua Stone. And then I'm going to top coat it because the artwork I want to do on top, I would like to do on a smooth surface. Using my dotting tool and some black Nirvana art gel, I'm just going to do a big blobs for uh, the bee's bodies and then I'm going to use the smaller end of my dotting tools to do some little heads. Out of shot again. <laughs> there we go. Almost there we go. I'm going to cure those in the lamp. I'm going to use some mustard and some white Kahlua and my 7mm art brush from SBD. And I'm just going to start adding some little line details to my little bees. Um, I'd love to show you, but apparently I'm not capable of keeping in shot for any of this video. I'm going to start adding in some wings. Um, you'll get the gist of what I'm doing when I do eventually pop back into shot, which will be any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. Oh, there we go, a little peek. So what you can see is I'm, I'm doing a little blob and then dragging it towards the body to try and get the illusion of a wing shape. And curing those once I'm happy again. Now, I did add a little bit of detail in using Storm, but I didn't like it, so I wiped it off and decided to keep the wings nice and crisp and white, and I much, much, much preferred that. And then I'm just going to finish this nail off by giving it a coat of matte Kahlua top coat again. Okay, here is the finished set. Uh, now, the whole purpose behind this Be Kind set was so that I had something nice to gift to someone, um, so all details on how you can enter to be considered for these nails it will be in the description below. It will also be on the Slay the Day Custom Press on Nails Facebook page. Here are all my other socials. Go like, subscribe, hit notify, um, and I will connect back with you all. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you learned something, and remember, be kind.